I'm often asked by, by new triathletes for, for the swimming, should we just get in and swim for 15 minutes or 20 minutes or 30 minutes? And I would say emphatically no. You know, let's break it down the same as we do on running and on cycling. Let's break it down to interval training, repetition training. Um, use the drills, so essential. You know, the technique is so, so important in swimming, probably more so than the other two disciplines. So get your stroke analyzed, find out what you're doing wrong, and then rebuild, rebuild getting it all together. Um, whole part, whole method. This is my front crawl. My coach says I need to think about high elbow underwater. So I'll do the next 100 concentrating on that. Let's go back to full stroke. Coach says I'm doing okay. Let's try it again, let's try it again. Bit by bit and we gradually get there. We always say that you don't move the chin to the shoulders. You always move the shoulders to the chin. So working through there, 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 there. It, it's a nice little warm-up if you're going into London or any of the races and you can't get in the water to start with, just to work on that to get, get your muscles attuned to what you're requiring for. It also, it's also not a bad karma. My favourite drill for swimming, um, we call it 3 plus 6, I'm not sure what the technical name is, um, but it's a drill where we do three arm strokes and then stop at the end of the third arm stroke with the left arm or the right arm out in front. So we're on our side, six leg beats, and then repeat the cycle. So what we're doing with that, we're, we're getting a good rotation, we're getting rotation both sides. Um, we're emphasizing the leg kick for balance when we're not actually working on the arms. And because of the good rotation, we're pretty much ensuring that the recovery is good as well. And the drill I use with the swimmers is from that recovery, drag the thumb up there, okay, and work on actually dragging the thumb in front. That's gonna make sure the elbow stays high, it's gonna give you good rotation, and you're not going to be all over the place like that.